Election day is just one day away and the countdown is on for when the first polls open across the DMV. We have 14 hours until polls open in Virginia. That's 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Maryland and D.C. polls will open at 7. Thank you for joining us right here on WUSA 9 and streaming on WUSA 9 Plus. I'm Simone D'Alba. Here are three things you need to know right now about the presidential campaign trail. First, for the final campaign day, Vice President Kamala Harris is spending her night in Pennsylvania. She's in Allentown right now, and she will be in Pittsburgh around 8 o'clock. Then around 11 o'clock tonight, the Vice President will have an Election Eve rally in Philadelphia with celebrity guests like Oprah and Lady Gaga. Meanwhile, former President Donald Trump will be in Pittsburgh for a campaign event in two hours. Then he will travel to Grand Rapids, Michigan for his Election Eve rally that's expected to start at 10.30. But here in the nation's capital, security is already ramping up ahead of Election Day. A new layer of security now circles the vice president's residence at the Naval Observatory in Northwest. It's a temporary fence around the permanent fence, and more fencing is going up near the White House today. We just got an update from D.C. police about their preparations, what the police chief is telling us ahead. But first, as the presidential candidates make their final pitch to voters, polls show a very close race. Natalie Brand has a look at the battleground states as the candidates enter their final campaign night. Former President Donald Trump returned to North Carolina Monday, a battleground state he carried the last two elections. It's ours to lose. If we, if we get everybody out and vote, there's not a thing they can do. In the final stretch of the campaign, Trump went off message at his Sunday rally in Pennsylvania. And I have this piece of glass here. But all we have really over here is the fake news, right? And to get me, somebody would have to shoot through the fake news. And I don't mind that so much. The campaign, trying to downplay the remarks, said they had nothing to do with the media being harmed. Vice President Kamala Harris is focusing all of her attention election eve on Pennsylvania. What you all are signing up to do today and what you've been doing like, let's enjoy it, because it's the best of who we are as a democracy. She will hold star-studded Get Out the Vote concerts this evening, along with coordinated events across the battleground states. The polls continue to show a tight race in all the key battleground states within the margin of error. A race this close can not just break either way, but can break very large in a direction either way, because there's so many factors. It all comes down to turnout. More than 78 million Americans have voted early this election. That's nearly half of the 2020 total vote. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House.